If you're the kind of person that loves to drive a vehicle that knows exactly what it has to offer and knows how to work the roads and other rough terrain, then the pickup truck is probably your car of choice. But just like any other type of car, pickups have more than their share of lemons. Sadly, quite a few have safety and reliability ratings that are subpar at best and fatally flawed at worst. Some are plagued by horrible issues that turn them into repair-ridden nightmares. Others don't have the right bed space or ability to drive properly. Then there are the others that are just flat out terrible in their design. As a result, when shopping for a pickup, there are many types that you should avoid at all costs. Well, luckily for you, you clicked on this video. Because today, you're gonna learn about the 10 deadliest trucks in the US. The Hummer SUT. The Hummer obsession was a serious thing in the 2000s, with almost every big celebrity owning a huge pickup. You see, the Hummer SUT was a bad addition to the Hummer lineup, with a smaller bed, and it could barely pull its own weight. And almost every list of worst trucks of the decade includes this model. Some of the most deadly common problems include engine misfires, requiring a brand new cylinder head, engine check lights due to loose or worn gas caps, and fuel level sensor failure, requiring you to buy a totally new fuel pump. The Ram 2500. A regular sized pickup is great for daily driving, off-roading, and regular light towing jobs. But if the job requires more power, you're definitely better off with a heavy-duty model. Many truck drivers love the Ram 2500 because of its durability and high towing capacity. When properly equipped, it can tow up to 15,000 pounds. Unfortunately, it's also one of the worst Ram trucks known to man. For starters, the truck was prone to steering problems that led to at least two crashes. Drivers reported that the steering was all over the place and that they had a hard time controlling the vehicle. This this problem would also cause the truck to shake violently when going over bumps on the pavement. Fixing the truck's alignment seemed to improve the issue, but not entirely. Despite having the truck serviced multiple times, most dealers couldn't find a solution to the problem. And if that wasn't enough, the 2012 model had a nasty habit of electrical issues and suspension failure while driving at high speeds, increasing the risk of a fatal accident. But if you think that's bad, guess again, because CarComplaints.com named the 2013 model as the official worst model year for the Ram 2500. This is due to the severity of something called the death wobble, a problem that plagues many popular trucks but nowhere as bad as the 2013 Dodge Ram 2500. The term death wobble is a violent and rapid swaying in the truck's steering components that ultimately makes your steering wheel whip from side to side. It often starts off slow and then builds and builds, and it can definitely be scary if you don't know what's going on. When it occurs, it feels like someone's trying to rip the wheel from your hands, and when it happens behind the wheel of a Ram 2500, you don't want to let go of the wheel but you also don't want to grip it tightly either. The Ram 2500's death wobble usually occurs at mid to higher speeds and is usually initiated by a bump in the road, though some scientists claim that hard braking can cause death wobble as well. As a result, countless Ram 2500 owners had to pay upwards of up to $2,000 to have their trucks fixed, and even then the problem would pop up after only a few thousand miles. Thankfully, the truck's warranty covered some of the repair costs, but not the full bill, leaving drivers dead broke and in desperate need of extra life insurance. The Mercedes-Benz X-Class the Mercedes-Benz X-Class was only released three years ago, and normally customers need to use their pickup trucks for a little longer to fully grasp the feel and reliability of the vehicle. However, with this pickup trucks, customers needed only just a few weeks to come to their conclusion, and it wasn't a good one. While a huge amount of thought went into the aesthetic and making it look like a luxury vehicle, the truck's performance isn't quite as luxurious nor reliable for that matter. Common problems include trailer stability function failure, resulting in impaired driving stability, increasing the risk of a fatal accident, a broken canopy causing roof loads to become detached and fall from the vehicle, endangering following traffic, and broken child safety locks that can cause you to lose other precious cargo as well. Those unfortunate souls that have actually purchased this vehicle have found that the flatbed is just too small for daily use, and the truck speed isn't worth writing home about either. The Ford F-250 for the most part, the F-150 was a top-notch selling pickup that was hailed as fantastic by buyers. Rather than an improvement, the F-250 was a serious step back, and the F-350 wasn't much better either. Both had issues with suspension and weren't able to handle heavy loads. And then there were the engine issues, which continued for years despite numerous complaints. More troubling were the reports of trucks that would have either both premature braking or sudden acceleration, which is an accident waiting to happen. Even the newer 2021 models have issues with the suspension so while it may haul big loads, it's not the most reliable truck out there. The Chevy Silverado 
The Chevy Silverado is one of the most famous pickup trucks many red-blooded Americans buy. It's a great vehicle with virtually no problems at all. Or is that really the case? Because unfortunately, the majority of Chevy Silverado owners have found that they suffer from various issues throughout the car's lifetime. The Chevy Silverado's first fatal flaw is its high probability of exploding into flames. The first incident of Silverado fires occurred on December 16, 2013, when a 2014 Silverado caught fire and then violently exploded during a test drive from a dealer in Gulfport, Mississippi. Two weeks later, another Silverado was set ablaze in Harvey, Louisiana. Six more trucks would explode that year. But if you thought the Silverado's faulty oil transmission line was the only fatal flaw that can send you to your fiery grave, guess again. Because this truck has a long history of its engine exploding as well. In late 2013, six Silverado owners in the states of New York and Illinois had their engines spontaneously explode while driving at high speeds. A software data corruption triggered the Silverado's exhaust system to overheat, melting fuel systems, valve covers, intake manifolds, and other plastic engine components like butter, causing a chain reaction setting the truck ablaze. The Ford F-150 for more than 40 years, the Ford F-150 has been America's most popular pickup truck. Its robust design, spacious interior make it a great vehicle for hauling, towing, and just about any other activity imaginable. But is it the safest choice? The answer to that question is no. The truck's main fatal flaw is its habit of catching fire and exploding. This fatal flaw was the result of two major manufacturer errors. The first issue came to light on August 31st, 2018, when Ford recalled over 1.6 million trucks due to vehicles catching fire during high-speed collisions. In the affected trucks, a defective front seatbelt pretensioner would deploy during a crash, causing sparks to ignite materials such as carpeting or installation within the B-pillar area. As a result, countless fires were started while injured drivers and passengers were trapped in the vehicle, sending many to their fiery grave. The the second manufacturer error came from the F-150's defective fuel tank straps. Securing the fuel tank to the vehicle, the faulty fuel tank straps would corrode when exposed to normal road chemicals. As a result, the failing straps would cause the truck's fuel tank to completely detach from the vehicle, making direct contact with the road surface, spilling gas onto the road and the underside of the truck, resulting in a fire or fatal explosion. The Ford Ranger Ford is planning to make a comeback for the Ranger in the U.S. market. Our hope is that the latest model will show improvements. The driver protection ratings for the 2005 to 2008 models were poor, and the numbers prove it. 81 drivers per million died on the road, with 60% of the deaths arising in multi-vehicle crashes. Problems contributing to the Ford Ranger's high fatality rate include a defective speed control deactivation switch that resulted in engine fires, malfunctioning fuel filters that caused gas leaks, and trucks to explode, poorly built tires that spontaneously explode at high speeds, and a broken cruise control module that propelled terrified drivers at speeds exceeding 120 miles per hour. The Honda Ridgeline Honda introduced the Ridgeline in 2006, and even though the idea, design, and equipment were spot on, the mechanics were problematic. Under the hood was a 3.5 liter V6 engine that didn't have a lot of torque at just 245 pound feet. As a result, when somebody used the Ridgeline for any purpose, like towing or hauling, things started to break. The suspension and cross members failed, and the engine would burn too much oil, emitting a gray blue smoke. Although the 3.5 liter V6 was perfect for the Accord or any other mid size sedan, in a pickup truck with Pulling and carrying duties, it simply wasn't enough. Four trucks with 5.4 liter V8 engines. From 2003 to 2010, Ford produced many trucks with a modular 5.4 liter V8 engine with a three valve cylinder head. Despite being relatively powerful, these engines were known to develop serious issues, especially when they crossed the 100,000 mile mark. The main problem is the camshaft phaser. When the system fails, the truck's idle becomes rough and the engine loses power. The first sign of trouble is often strange engine noises. The repairs are costly since they often require a new phaser and a possible new set of camshafts and valves the Nissan Frontier. In most cases, the Nissan Frontier was a dependable work truck without any major issues. However, the 2008 model year had major problems. Almost every Nissan Frontier during that period experienced transmission failure. To make things worse, the transmission itself wasn't the truck's biggest fatal flaw. The radiator was also prone to cracking, causing the coolant to find its way into the gearbox. Some coolants even chemically dissolved the oil, overheating the gearbox, resulting in complete engine annihilation. The Dodge Ram 
Although the Dodge Ram was one of the most popular light duty trucks on the market, it's a 2010 model year equipped with a V6 engine that you'll want to watch out for. The base of a 3.7 liter V6 engine is relatively weak with just 250 horsepower and 235 pound feet of torque. In addition, it also has poor fuel economy. In fact, in terms of gas mileage, there was no difference between the V6 and the V8. But with the bigger engine, you get more power. Secondly, the truck's base equipment is lacking compared to others in its class. It also earned a disappointing 3 star crash test rating, making the truck far more dangerous. The 2021 Ram Rebel TRX. The 2021 Ram Rebel TRX took us all by storm. With 702 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque, what could possibly go wrong? Well, quite a bit actually. And the main culprit is the TRX's massive supercharged SRT 6.2 liter V8 Hellcat engine. For starters, the TRX's engine is plagued with defective O ring seals and a leaky fuel hose as well. The TRX's fuel hose is made out of a fuel resistant rubber, leaving it susceptible to the same wear and tear that regular hoses experience, such as drying out and cracking. Typical symptoms of a bad gas line include cracks in the fuel hose, gas smell <laughs> presence inside and outside of the cabin, and most importantly, fuel leaking in the presence of an ignition source, such as a TRX's hot engine or exhaust components resulting in a vehicle fire or explosion. The 2010 Ford F-150 Most people know the Ford F-150 is the best-selling truck in America, but no truck is perfect and you should definitely avoid the 2010 model year. This is due to problems with the engine that can lead to loud noises, rattles, and vibrations. Some users have reported transmission problems and a few had electrical issues as well. This model is also known for its rear window glass spontaneously breaking. Apparently, the rear glass of the F-150 would shatter by itself without any hit or impact. The Toyota Tundra like the smaller Tacoma, the full-size Tundra has its share of problems, especially during the 2005 and 2008 model years. Buyers also reported a few issues with the paint, the electronics, and the secondary air pump. Despite its decent performance and power, the 5.7 liter V8 engine was loud and had cold piston slap sounds. Also, the interior of the truck was dull and there weren't that many options. The GMC Canyon when it comes to deadly trucks, the GMC Canyon is the heavyweight title holder, with two consecutive years of the poorest reliability ratings a pickup could get. With that recent past, it was almost a given that Consumer Reports would rate it below average for 2019. In the past few years, owners have reported transmission failure, exploding engines, fuel leakage, deflated airbags, power assist failure, and brake failure as a cherry on top. But that's only naming issues that were widespread. Well guys, those are the 10 deadliest trucks in the US. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see at the channel, subscribe and put post notifications on. You could also follow the channel on Instagram at Modern Muscle YT. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle, and I'll see you next time.